In this video today, we're going to discuss how to test the thermal fuse in a MOV or monooxide varistor. So these are made by little fuse. And as you can see from the drawing in the schematic here, there's three legs. And I'm in, inside internally, you have an MOV, and this is the part that absorbs the surge. And then you have the monitor lead, which has a thermal fuse. So you'll actually pass any surge all the way through the MOV and the thermal fuse. Now, the thermal fuse is designed to blow or break whenever the temperature exceeds its rating. So the idea with this is that when you get an excessive surge, instead of the MOV part exploding and sending hot metal shrapnel everywhere, instead the thermal fuse blows and disconnects. So then you'll have a redundant surge system that would continue to absorb the surge, and then you'd need to replace this MOV. Off-grid techs, um, surge protectors often have an easy replace option with these where you just uh, depress some uh, tabs and then change and put a new MOV in. Now, normally the MOVs do not come painted. Off-grid tech paints them in order to indicate the voltage. And this particular one should be used for 230 volt AC applications. So in order to test the MOV, you really can't test the MOV function itself because it's designed to be open. So that means like they're disconnected internally whenever the voltage is below its rating. When the voltage begins to exceed its rating, it begins to become closed or on, okay? And in that case, the surge will be diverted through the MOV and then out to ground or wherever, you, however your surge protection is designed. So you can't really test the MOV part except for to make sure that it's not failed closed, which would mean closed like this. So this is closed, this is open. Okay, so we're gonna test that real quick. We'll take our meter and we're gonna set it to continuity. So that's this little symbol here. And you can see it shows continuity right there. And then in continuity, the meter beeps and goes to zero whenever you have closed connection. So to test across the MOV, we'll go to legs one and two, one and two right here and here, and I should expect nothing. And sure enough, I get nothing. Now I'm gonna switch the leads as well verify that I've got nothing in the diode function the other way. Now, if I want to test the thermal fuse, that's easy enough. I'll go from between three and two. So here's three and there's two, and you can see the meter beeps and shows continuity. And then I'll check, change the meter leads again, and I should get the same result. So that's the most testing we can do on this particular MOV without some advanced equipment, which is not usually uh, available a high voltage source and a, and a high resistance would be a way you could test this so you get a little current leakage but we're not going to do that this is just a simple test on this as well i'll also include the data sheet on this mov and it'll give you a lot of uh, uh, information later on in the video thank you